Courtney Cox says struggling friends co-star Matthew Perry put enormous pressure on himself to be funny while filming scenes as sardonic Chandler Bing. The actors became household names thanks to their respective roles as Monica Geller and Bing in the iconic 90s show about five twenty-somethings living together in New York City. And Cox, 57, believes her former co-star felt obligated to make the studio audience laugh out loud while filming the show at Warner Brothers Studios in Los Angeles. She told the Sunday Times, that was a lot of pressure he put on himself. That's a lot to think how much he relied on that for his own self-worth. Cox reunited with castmates Perry, David Schwimmer, Jennifer Aniston, Matt LeBlanc and Lisa Kudrow for retrospective special The One Where They Get Back Together in 2021. But Perry, 52, whose battle with prescription drugs and alcohol began years before Friends went off air in 2004, prompted alarm from fans after appearing to slur his speech throughout the reunion. Cox added, has just struggled for a while. I think has doing great now. However the actress admitted she loved reuniting with her former co-stars and insisted she will never get bored with discussing her time on the show. No, that was such a huge part of my life, she said. It was such a lucky situation that I fell into the show, and I went through so many things in those 10 years. Of her relationship with her co-stars, she added, we're just really comfortable. We've shared so much history together and we laugh. Lisa's laugh alone is the most infectious laugh I've ever heard. It's adorable. We have deep conversations, we also have silly times. Perry won't sugarcoat the tougher times that he went through with his friends' castmates in an upcoming memoir, which hits shelves on November 1st. The Massachusetts-born star was paid in the mid-seven figures to pen the 256-page tell-all titled Friends, Lovers, and The Big Terrible Thing, according to Deadline. He'll delve into his addictions, of course, plus clear up rumors about his feelings for the Friends co-stars, a source told Us Weekly. It wasn't always a bed of roses for Matthew on and off the Friends set. Hell also discuss what it was like at the reunion, both good and bad. The insider added, it's not going to be salacious or mean, just totally honest. But given the nature of Mott's life and his experiences, that guarantees this will be an incredibly juicy read.